There is one world edit tool that has become such an essential part of my Minecraft building toolkit that I almost struggle to build without it. And that is this golden sword. Well, not the sword, but the command bound to it. Let me, let me show you how it works. When you modify a block in Minecraft, like breaking or placing, what happens is it updates the blocks adjacent to it. We call these block updates. For example, when I place this fence in between two other fences, they update their block state and connect to one another. This technique that I'm about to show you will help you freeze these updates and use blocks in ways that you've never been able to before. To use this tool, we need to select any Minecraft tool from the creative menu. Swords work too, and I like the way the gold one looks, so I use that. Next, while holding the tool in our hand, we will activate it by running the command slash tool space R-E-P-L, which is short for replace. If we hit enter, it tells us that we need a pattern, or in other words, we need to tell it which block we want to replace with. For efficiency's sake, I usually just type 1, which is the block ID for stone, but you can put whatever you like in there. Another way you can write this command is slash REPL1, which is nice and short, but you will get this alert saying the command will be removed in the next release of WordEdit, so keep that in mind. From here, I can right click on any block and it is replaced with stone, the block I told it to use. To change it, all I need to do is left click on a block and it is now changed from stone to that block. This whole method is very reminiscent of a painter's palette, where they can pick and choose which colors they want to paint with. The blocks will still update when we use this tool though, so to stop that we need to run the command slash slash perf neighbors off. When we replace, it will now ignore the adjacent blocks, so instead of trapdoors on this build, I could use the top half of a door and it doesn't break. Or I can replace leaves with grass to make the trees look fluffier. Be careful though, the game will still cause updates if you break or place blocks by hand. I don't know about you, but this tool made building so much more fun for me, which is what it's all about at the end of the day, having fun. Just look how easy it is to texture with gravity blocks. If you found this helpful at all, consider watching this video about making castle walls. See ya.